today. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. This is the National Football League. We'll see Carson Wentz and the Washington football team versus Sam Darnold and the New York Giants. The weatherman got it right this time. Snow was forecasted and it fell and still falling at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the New York Giants. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? Graham Gano set to kick off. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. Leading the charge under center will be their six foot five quarterback, Carson Wentz. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Ball carrier. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. That one is slant to McLaurin. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They fake the give. Now wins. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Wentz to throw again. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he'll get it down on the plate at the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And off 
oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Washington on a pickup of 11. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. On first down. Gibson, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. David Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. On third down, it's Gibson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Hopkins for the Washington field goal. A 33-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. Washington 3, Giants nothing. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here are the Giants under head coach Joe Judge. Leading them out is their six foot three quarterback, the third overall selection in 2018, Sam Darnold. I remember talking with a scout about him, and he said, you know, I love the fact that he was a high school basketball player. He does so many things with his legs to keep plays alive. He did the same thing as a basketball player, kind of a point guard, knows where the ball is supposed to go and knows how to deliver. Early on first down, going to work his way forward only for about a couple there. He's tackled at the well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And a rumble for about five, up close to the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A five-yard pickup on the play. And An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Darnold from the gun. And Tate's got it. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. A 
First down carry for Barkley. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Saquon Barkley. And he's got it across the midfield, stripe it into Washington territory. The giant ball carrier. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run with Barkley. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Again, the ball carrier. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. down on is Graham Gano for the Giants field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt at right hash. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. cried, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that. Really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little bit. Thing. Okay. I love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. They want that ball. The football and who's got it? The Giants. Whenever we call a game that's in the snow, we have to focus a little bit more, trying to make sure we've got the right numbers on players <laughs> yeah. that we're calling right, the right guys in the game. Think about the guys on the field. Their focus has to really increase as well because so many things coming at you, 
you got to make sure that you're really locked in on taking care of the ball. Or if you don't, you cough it up like they did right there. Eighteen-yard line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and third. Definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. The shotgun snap for Darnold. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off to Ronald Darby. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And he'll get this past the five to the seven-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Inside, running down, outside. And which will not be able to get rid of it. He's taken down for his safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the time the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. New York ready to go again offensively. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone where it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football, and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. On second and 11 now. Darnold. Oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Over the middle, complete. It's Tate, and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Darnold now to throw. He'll complete this to Ingram is tied in. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Not much there, only a yard. On the run, it's Barkley. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Barkley on the carry. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Back to throw, Darnold. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Arnold competes it. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first down, Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 34. 
Yeah. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The tackle made by that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On the draw, this is Barkley. And brought down, not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. here on first and ten fighting through pressure but in the end the pressure too great and he goes down Matthew Ioannidis coming right up the gut gets in there for a loss of nine gotta give it points for the attempt but there's just a wave of pressure there a host of people in the area evades a few but couldn't evade all of them to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And he'll go down at the 28. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. They certainly have the right read on that one. The weak spot in a cover two defense, right down the middle because it really stresses the safeties, and they're going to be a little bit frustrated they weren't able to connect on that one. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will push the lead up to five. Washington, three. Well, that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it's a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick. But that type of a drive she didn't in the end zone. At their own 25-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones. Not having balls go through goalposts. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. James Bradbury, he was right there to break it up. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Wins. 
to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they tried to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Push it back. Push it back. Shotgun now for Wentz. He's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. So one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Fights him off. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. On second and 12, Wentz. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Take this across midfield and inside the 45. And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in this snow, ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Darnold going to keep this himself. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. That's on Kevin Zeitler, acquired in the Odell Beckham trade. The Giants on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. An eligible receiver downfield, offense. Hey, what's up? Well, that's one of the drawbacks of running the RPO. If those linemen go into run block mode, you can't throw it if they're more than a yard downfield. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Matt Ioannidis. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well. Allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay. price. How much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Takes over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Two minutes to play in the first half of an 8-3 game. A reminder coming up at halftime. Well, the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Down. Open man here, Sims complete. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run. Still have possession. Hey. On second and long. Wentz. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Wentz on third down. Over the middle. Open is Thomas. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing his wins. Covered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Complete to Antonio Gibson. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now wins. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen. And something big. We've seen crazy stuff happen in the end of halves. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half throwing the football. By Sam Darnold. His guys have the lead as the white stuff continues to fall. And for the call of the second half, we give it back to Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Giants take over first and 10. At their own. New York set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Jonathan Allen on the Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll run it again with Barkley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcement, you have a chance to get him on the ground. That they did that time for a loss. Just 
a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. The best adjustment. Football now with a first and ten. It's time for our player spotlight right now as we get a look at Carson Wentz. And he has not really been able to have a lot of comfort back there in the pocket. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball. I would agree with you totally because they've done all. can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Throwing a sack and an eight. Wentz, the throw taken in by Sims. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 45-yard line. Working from the gun, Wentz. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Sims. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. To throw, it's Wentz. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He's trying to give it to Terry McLaurin. And now it's second down. Jabril Peppers on the coverage. Now Wentz again. And he'll find McLaurin this time as that's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Again, it's Wentz. This one complete to Calvin Harmon. Touchdown! Washington. Kelvin Harmon, 33 yards. And Washington has retaken the lead. So up comes Wentz as he and the guys on offense here will go for two. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. So when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drop. As they head to the field, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Again, it's Barkley. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field and have about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent and toughness to go into the briar patch. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And this is incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual know, for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. First down, Barkley, and he'll just plow right into a 
host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And it brings up. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. He's good. That ties the game 11-11. It's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring him level now. I like how you put that in there. It brings him level, right? Because if you talk about kicking, bringing that soccer analogy in, I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And six yards. From the gun on third down. Wins. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage. Because you know you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Work it to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered. Gets both feet down for the completion. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Win. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sims. Seven yards there and a first down. First and ten at the 28-yard line. They run the counter. Gibson. Gibson gets hit, and he fumbles it. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. The last run got six, now second and four. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Shotgun, they run with Barkley. 
quick. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. And the Giants first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Barkley. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And eight at the 30. Looking here for Schmidt down. Field. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. But normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Here's Barkley. It fights him off. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And Washington will have it on a turnover on downs. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. You got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of times the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out. And again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. Now, that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up the first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Dexter Lawrence. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there Washington on third down they've converted four times out of six not bad this is third down and 12 Wentz gonna throw now he'll escape to his right and that'll be incomplete we do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. That's not good enough, man. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback at their own 20-yard line. Possession of the football going back over to the Giants. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Here's Darnold. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. 
I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him... Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's Thomas Davis on the sack. Came in the league way back in 2005. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt on offense. If that fell harmlessly to the ground. A good head down running on the return. Gets about 15 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> so well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players, and maybe try to hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now wins. Got a man, it's Gibson complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Washington on third down. They've converted four times out of six, not bad. This is third and eight. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That's good. For a Friend, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Antonio Gibson, 43 yards. And Washington has taken the lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive, four plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They begin with a run by Barkley. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. First down at about the 38. They're able to 
to convert with a gain of four. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A first down throw, Darnold. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own four-yard line. On first down, it's Gibson. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibbs. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Brings up third and six. Blitz now to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers run a quick slant or something like that. A bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. So a victory here for the Washington football team. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Washington football team as we say so long from FedEx Field.